Whereas Alameda County is home to over 90,000 Muslims who make innumerable contributions to the cultural, political, and economic fabric and well-being of our city, county, state, and nation, and whereas the Muslim Community Center of the East Bay and the Islamic Center of Sahar have served their community members by holding spiritual workshops, children's learning programs, and volunteering opportunities and support community members in need, and whereas through the Islamic practice of zakat, Local Muslim organizations help give back to the community by providing grocery deliveries and financial assistance to local families, delivering 25,000 pounds of food to 150 families weekly and providing living expenses to more than 50 East Bay families per month. And now, therefore, be it resolved, the Pleasanton City Council does hereby proclaim August 2024 as American Muslim Appreciation and Awareness Month to acknowledge the rich history and contributions of American Muslims in our community and may it have a lasting positive impact on our city, state, and nation. Good evening, um, Mayor Carla, Carla Brown, Vice Mayor, esteemed council members. Uh, my name is Jamila Friday. I'm here to, with you tonight as a mom a wife, a pediatrician in Alameda County, uh, a proud member of the Tri-Valley and a proud member of the Muslim Community Center, also known as MCC East Bay. MCC, <clears throat> pardon me, um, I'm honored to be here tonight on behalf of MCC to accept the proclamation of August as American Muslim Appreciation and Awareness Month. This is the ninth year California has declared this proclamation and the fifth year that the city of Pleasanton has done so. I think I can speak for my community when I say that we appreciate this gratuitous honor, not in the way gratuity is understood in 2024, <laughs> but in the true nature of gratuity, meaning it's a gift given in good faith and appreciation, one that is never accepted, but its recipient is always appreciative of. Unfortunately, given current world events and specifically the war that we are seeing unfold, we find ourselves in a climate similar to, to the one that existed when California began this proclamation in 2016, a climate in which anti-Muslim and anti-Islamic rhetoric goes unchecked. However, these yearly proclamations are helping to change that. For instance, a study, study done by CARE, the Council on American Islamic Relations, published in November of 2023, reported that 47% of Muslim students surveyed reported feeling unsafe, unwelcome, or uncomfortable at school because of their Muslim identity. While that is still an unacceptable number, it is an, actually an improvement over the 55% of children who reported feeling this way in 2021. When the Tri-Valley cities that we live in, work in, love and, and love support us in this way by bringing awareness to the contributions of Muslim Americans, we further enrich and expand upon the beautiful tapestry of Pleasanton and the Tri-Valley tri and continue to make, it, to make it a welcome place for all. We appreciate the opportunity to tell our story as Muslims from our lives and lived experiences. So let me share a little bit of who we are as Muslims in MCC. When we serve, we serve our entire community. We are teachers, professors, social workers, therapists, doctors, nurses, pharmacists, athletes, the list keeps going on, right? All of these members comprise MCC and where it stands today, which is just over on West Las Positas. You may have driven by it, not too far from the Luckies. It's first started in the minds of a few Muslims in the Tri-Valley in a basement, and now it is a bustling and lively community center. Um, just a few examples of what we do at our MCC. Um, along with a partnership with the Alameda County Food Bank, MCC, ser MCC serves hundreds of Muslims, uh, and uh, sorry, just community members, including Muslims, per week um, with that partnership. We host quarterly blood drives, pet adoptions. We just added rabbits <laughs> or bunnies to our pet adoptions. Interfaith dialogues to promote reciprocal understanding amongst the different faiths of our neighbors. Parenting workshops community building workshops, and mental health services. All of this with the goal of building a Muslim American community that, that possesses a strong understanding of its civic duties and love of our neighbors. So on behalf of MCC, thank you for this proclamation and for recognizing the contribution of Muslim Americans. Thank you.
Good evening, everyone, especially Mayor Brown and respected council members. Mayor Brown, I'm very happy to see you first time. I live Pleasanton for a very long time, and since my childhood, I keep seeing you here. <laughs> I'm Thank just you. Kidding. Since your childhood, oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, Thank you so much. My name is Essen Kazmi, and I'm one of the Board of Trustees of Islamic Center of Zara. Uh, on behalf of the Islamic Center of Zara, I'm deeply touched and grateful to be recognized by the city of Pleasanton during American Muslim Appreciation Awareness Month. This recogni recognition is a testament to the collective effort and dedication of our entire community. We are grateful for the city, city ongoing partnership and support. We look forward to continue our collaboration efforts to enrich and support our community together. Thank you so much. Excellent, excellent, thank you. Selfies are fun. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> 